all my fellow weebs and weebets it is i anime alex and welcome to the monastery of the anime acolytes with all that being said i am back with some more monster hunter builds now uh, a little update i will be going into surgery uh tomorrow so expect a little bit of a delay on the build videos i was trying to roll this out this week and was just getting some builds uh in order in the only weapon class that have enough builds for one of these uh best build guides is uh, the light bow gun so essentially i try to make uh various builds on like best elemental shot types etc etc now uh, I will say with some weapons, I will be cutting out certain elements in elements, etc, etc, because they might, they pretty much won't ever compete to anything else. But with all that being said, welcome everyone to the Light Bowgun Best Build Guide, starting with my personal favorite Light Bowgun build. The slicing light bow gun. Why is it my personal favorite? Uh, mainly due to, mainly due to, it being Zenogre's light bow gun that's meta, and this is my favorite light bow gun design. It looks great. Now let's get into the stats, shall we? The stats we are rocking with. The Rampage slot is Anti-Aquatic Species, which actually is supposed to be Attack Boost 2. I totally... Uh, the reason why it was Anti-Aquatic Species is because I was probably fighting a Mizutsune. Oh, oh yeah, that's why. I was actually using this uh, Light Bow Gun when uh, I was fighting the Emergency Apex Mizutsune. So for the time being, uh, let me just set up this ramp skill to attack boost 2 attack boost 2 is going to be your primary go-to one if you're not fighting any leviathans if you are fighting any leviathans then uh please swap over if you do have the necessary tickets to the anti-aquatic species you would get more damage out because it's like what a 10 percent damage increase something like that anyways let's get into uh the weapon that uh let's re-get into the weapon that we're using uh this is our despot's wildfire our attack is 205 our affinity is 10 percent no defense bonuses a two slot no deviation and uh with our recoil and reload from this build we do have it on very low and very fast the mods are long barrel and of course our special ammo is just wyvern blast our rampage slot is attack boost too, but if you are fighting any leviathans like I was just saying, then please swap over to anti-aquatic species if you do have the necessary tickets. And for our ammo stats, we have actually some, you know, Zenogre's light bowgun in this game is one of the most broken light bowguns, because look, with maxed out with long barrel keep in mind in quick quick reload three and absorber three or recoil down threes i have everything on low and fastest so every single ammo type you can ever hope for will be on low and fastest now some notable ammos that we do have in this build we have Sticky ammo ones if you actually really want to go for KOs. I mean, I don't really put in sticky ammo ones, but I might just for just for cheap KOs. We got paralysis ammo ones, which are on low and fastest. Uh, I don't really think exhaust ammo ones do much to exhaust uh, monsters, so I wouldn't really... I really wouldn't uh, entertain that idea. We have recover ammo ones on low and fastest. So if you really want to play a more supporting role, or you just want, or you just want to heal your teammates, 
then feel free we also have both demon ammo and armor ammo on low and fastest and uh i will i will suggest if you are running this uh weapon in multiplayer please please buy demon ammo and armor ammo you can buy them from the vendor in this game unlike in world where you have to like spend your points for these uh am ammunition types uh they'll be they'll give you, your teammates a decent buff so why not and then for your final notable ammos you have piercing ammo three on low and fastest and it actually is rapid fire in slicing ammo on low and fastest which is our main main weapon on rapid fire another rapid fire ammo that we also get is normal ammo two so here's the, oh we also have trank ammo on low and fastest by the way also but that's only if you're capping that so i will actually make another video about light bow guns for piercing uh ammo piercing elemental ammo i just don't have all the light bow guns for it but you really don't need piercing elemental ammo weapons because not a lot of monsters are uh going to be susceptible for the pierce procs but our main ammo of course is the slicing ammo in this build but if you do run out of slicing ammo then you only have two options you either swap to normal ammo two or piercing thunder ammo if you actually are fighting a thunder weak monster such as like mizutsune but you only have like those two options and then your third option would be like to go back to camp and restock on slicing ammo and, and in some cases such as in the flooded forest it will be faster than just trying to finish the mission off on normal ammo too but in those bigger maps like in the desert uh if you just don't want to bother if you just don't want to bother swap over to normal ammo too it will get a boost in damage from the rapid fire ups uh the rapid fire up decorations in this build anyways to go on to our armor that we're using we are using vikhelm s vike mail s valstrax braces uh, valstrax braces anjanath coil s arzuras greaves s demon pedalance 3 which is we're always going to be using demon pedalance 3 on all of our light bow gun builds i'm just gonna let you guys know that first and foremost in the fatalis or fatal fatal tempest talisman i just nicknamed it the fatalis talisman because it like fatal i just read it as fatalis but anyways my fatal my fatal tempest talisman by saying that <laughs> five times fast is a attack boost level two with a level one divine blessing with a three slot and a one slot so i know you guys might not have this talisman but any three slot talisman will will suffice with a one slot so if you have a three slot and a one slot or a three slot and a two slot i do suggest i do suggest just using this it's okay if you can't get attack boost or if you can't get attack boost four then my best suggestion would be What would be my best suggestion, actually? Fair shot, crit boost. Yeah, my best suggestion is just leave attack boost at level two. Because I don't think there's an actual way to get a maxed out weakness exploit with like level two, with level three rapid fire up in level two, in at least level four attack boost with level two crit boost. Because we're already getting level 2 crit boost with this build anyways. <laughs> anyways, as you see, we have level 4 attack boost, level 3 weakness exploit, level 3 spare shot, level 3 reload speed, level 3 recoil down, and level 3 rapid fire up with level 2 crit boost. Now, I will say, I will say, in the case of not having the attack boost 2 decoration with a 3 slot and a 1 slot, feel free to trade out anjanath's coil for the chrome coil and the arzros greaves for rajang 
legs so you can at least get maxed out crit boost with with a weakness exploit level three and fit in in rapid fire up level three and just fit in the decoration slots as you see fit now the reasons why we have ammo up level three is because without ammo up level three we would only have two shots and slicing ammos and we make sure we have level three spare shot because that's important because since we don't really have a lot of ammunition in the reserves for slicing we're going to actually have to rely on spare shot level three making our slicing ammo like prolong it's okay if you have crit boost level two in this build because attack boost level four and crit boost level two will get will give you a bigger benefit than having crit boost level three or just crit boost level three and obviously rapid fire up is going to be our major damaging boost raising up our rapid fire ammo to actually let me go to set decorations raising up our rapid fire damage to 20 percent, which that's equal to basically a full ammo uh damage up like normal up ability for instance so take a minute see all uh, of the decorations that i have in and try to copy it to the best of your abilities and with all that being said let's move on to our next light bow gun which is going to be our sticky light bow gun i actually haven't used my sticky light bow gun in a in a minute but we are rocking out the sinister shadow bolt as you see it comes with 198 attack because we also have attack boost three on here zero percent affinity our slots are a two slot a one slot deviation is none recoil is very low reload is fastest our mods are a silencer mod cluster bomb type arc shot special ammo wyvern blast so simple simple now our armor that we're rocking out here is the vike mail the Vike Helm S, the Vike Mail S, the Anjanath Van Braces S, the Anjanath Coil S, the Basil Juice Greaves, and the and our attack boost level two and level one Divine Blessing Fatal Tempest Talisman with a three slot and a one slot. Now, coming out to not the ammo, well, to our ammo details, as you see, we have red ammo three on low and fastest so if you do want to use your spread ammo threes just for a little bit extra damage feel free feel free our sticky ammo threes are on two we do have ammo up and we do get cluster bomb level ones and other than that we also have slicing ammo so those are going to be your major ammos that you're actually going to be using in this uh in this demonstration and honestly the magna Molo light bow gun is just a really flexible light bow gun that i will recommend anyone actually get why because it comes with a lot of ammo threes and light bow guns historically don't really come with a lot of uh level three ammo types but the fact that you can actually get level three ammo types and have them on low end fastest is pretty pretty amazing i'm not going to lie now as you see as you see if you want to use normal ammo three go for it if you want to use pierce ammo three go for it and etc uh, etc et now a little spoiler alert this will also be our best spread uh this will also be our best spread light bow gun but uh getting back to our sticky getting that back to our sticky set the reason why we have this ammo set up, or this armor set up is because we're using the helm s for our ammo up level twos 
it comes with the two in one slot so we can fit in a spare shot and reload speed and obviously we want to have spare shot to make our sticky ammos last as long as possible we have vike mail s or capacity up uh, or so we have uh, vike mail s so we can put in our last capacity jewel three so we can have maxed out uh level three ammunitions uh, we put in another level of artillery jewel twos to round us out to artillery three and then end some absorber for recoil down for our anginath braces it comes with level two slugger and level two attack boost uh, we put in a sniper jewel so we can lower the left mild uh the left mild debuff to none on our deviation and then we come in with our Anginath Coil S for a big boost in attack boost. We get level 2 attack boost, level 3 with our added attack jewel 2, and we also put in two quick load jewels for level 2 re uh, reload speed. Now, if you are wondering if you can run long barrel on it, no, because with sticky ammos, it will only go down to average with sticky level 3s. So that is why you have to put in a silencer on the sticky build. And then on top of that. Then on top of that. We have basil juice greaves, which gives us level two in artillery and level one guard. Obviously, we don't need guard, but we use that three slot for our last spare shot jewel. So we'll have maxed out spare shot and for our attack boost, uh, for our attack boost two in divine blessing level one talisman, we put in the last level of slugger for max KOs in the three slot in the last level recoil down in the one slot. Now I will say this for this build, you can use this light bow gun and there's also another uh, light bow gun for stickies which is going to be the furious flaming where which is uh which we'll call it which is um i cannot think on the top of my head it is uh which we call uh, i keep on saying which we call it <laughs> it's uh Anginath's, yes, Anginath's light bowgun. I do not, I don't know why I forgot that. Now, with Anginath's light bowgun, I'm actually going to just make it live because it's going to use the same build. So, essentially, it's going to use the same build. And as you see, we get an immense, and I mean an immense, 263 attack when everything is done. It comes with 230. Comes with 230 with negative 30%. Now, obviously, this negative 30% is not going to matter with uh, stickies. We get no recoil, it's low, it's fast, and we actually don't have any mods. And as you see, we'll have access to sticky ammo level ones, sticky ammo level twos, and sticky ammo level threes. Sadly, you will actually still need uh, if I can, where is the customized bow gun? Okay, sadly, you'll still need long barrel, or not, not long barrel, you'll, you'll need silencer. Sadly, you'll need a silencer. Why you'll need a silencer is so you could get your sticky ammo threes and ammo twos on low. This technically will grant you a lot more sticky, so if you're, uh, whatchamacallit, if you are in game, I do recommend just using the furious flaming war why because this is going to give you the bet your the strongest stickies first and foremost the strongest stickies a lot more stickies and our rampage slots are cluster effect one so we can get oh some more cluster bombs in as you see cluster bombs uh ones are going to be on average fast and cluster bomb twos are going to be on high slow but i don't think that actually matters in the grand scheme of things and on top of everything we also have access to demon ammo so you can buff up your teammates and we get trank ammo 
We also get fl flaming ammo, but that we're not going to use that. This is basically all about cluster bombs, stickies, and buffing your team with demon ammo. And if you do want to use poison ammo uh, for a little bit of extra damage, feel free. Uh, this is going to grant you the most sticky damage. So if you're just going sh pure sticky builds, I do recommend this. Now, as you see, uh, I need to put in the thrift, uh, the last thrift jewel and the last. Oh, actually, actually, wait, I think I lied. Uh, I did not have. Let me go to customize bow gun because we possibly could go to long barrel. If we go to long barrel, uh, our sticky ammo twos are on high. Or no. No, uh, our sticky ammo ones are on fastest. Sticky ammo threes are on fast. I don't believe I can get them any lower because we do have max recoil speed so i think that's just how it's going to be if uh let me let me see something right quick if i if i still put on silencer yeah it's just going to be on fast so good news guys you can actually put on long barrel uh i tripped up a bit uh you can put on long barrel and the good news is you will have even more damage. So let me just save to the sticky cluster light bow gun. I totally forgot to put it. I totally forgot to actually mention it. So sorry that we had to do like this little segue. But if you want the utmost sticky damage, go with the Furious Flaming Guerrero. I do recommend you get this when you're at a little bit of the end game because Magnumalo's light bow gun is going to basically be really really good for spreads and just you're all around you're just all around uh what you call it you know you're all around go-to but since we're an in-game hunter we are going to use the furious flaming Guerrero for our sticky knee anyways time to go on to the pierce light bow gun and keep, keep in mind i might actually have to uh separate these uh episodes and i will get into the elemental light bow guns in the next episode because this is actually running a little bit longer than i thought here are the pierce light bow gun builds now as you see here's the build The Rampage slots are attack boost three because we need that extra damage. Obviously, we're using a Narcacuga weapon, so it's going to be high in affinity and low in a, in a raw attack damage. Our attack does come out to 196 with the attack boost three buff. Our affinity is 40%, zero defense bonus, a level two slot, no deviation, low recoil, reload is very fast. Mods are a long barrel and special ammo is our wyvern black. For our ammo, this is probably one of the other really, really powerful light bow guns on our list. Pierce ammo too, and honestly, I also do recommend getting the night owl. Uh, I will actually go over build progressions after I get done with all these uh, build videos. But I will say as soon as you can get this light bow gun, get it. Because this was the light bow gun that carried me through high rank and actually getting through the game. It's a really, really nice. Uh, it's a really, really nice light bow gun. It doesn't have actually a lot of ammunition. Its main ammunition that you're going to use is Pierce Ammo 2, but it also has Pierce Ammo 1 on rapid fire. And fun fact, Pierce Ammo 1 will do the same amount of damage as Pierce Ammo 2. It just doesn't tick as much. It has like a, a few less ticks. So obviously use Pierce Ammo 2s. And if you do run out of gunpowder twos, if you do manage uh, gunpowder level twos, if you manage to do that, then at least you'll have pierce ammo ones as a fallback and you won't really lose as much damage. 
Uh, you also have slicing ammos. Now, sadly, we can only get to average recoil and fastest reload. So it's, uh, you know, we, we take it where we can. We're not going to use exhaust ammo ones. And if you want to use paralysis ammo, paralysis ammo level ones for some added CC, it will be on average and fastest. It's what we it's what we have to work with. So. It is what it is. We also have Trank Ammo when we are capping, so that that's good. That's duly noted. Sadly, the, sadly, the Night Owl does not come with Demon Ammo. Now, in Sunbreak, when this turns into the Evita Eye, I better see some Demon Ammo in this because at, coming back from playing Monster Hunter GU, it is very sad to see that the Night Owl does not have demon ammo so i'm really hoping when uh g rank the g rank expansion comes out sunbreak will level the night owl up to the avita eye and we'll get demon ammo and we'll get basically this weapon in its full full capabilities where you can buff your teammates you can shoot a bunch of slicing ammos and just start raining like piercing like just bullet hell with piercing ammos Anyways, coming down uh, to the build, we have the Rinoplos Helm S, which gives us level 2 Pierce Up with level 1 Stun Res. It gives us a level 1 decoration where we actually put in another, uh, we actually put in a reload speed. Then we have the Vike Mail S, where we put in Rapid Fire Up crit boost level one and level one recoil down then moving down to the valshax braces all we did was essentially just put in another crit boost now i tend to like putting in my tenderizers in valshax braces to get just full weakness exploit but i guess i just not do that and instead the weakness exploit is on the chrome metal coil with another level of rapid fire up and another level of reload speed. Rounding us out to crit boost level three, weakness exploit level three, and rapid fire pierce up level two and rapid fire up level three. Actually, wait, no, not rapid fire up level three. It's not until we get to the Arzuros Greaves that we get rapid fire up level three. And since we also have a spare two slot, we can go into level one ballistics in the recoil and we have level one recoil down. Now, getting into our fatal Tempest Talisman, we have a earplugs level two with level one ballistics with a three slot Talisman. We are mainly just using this Talisman for the level three slot and the level one ballistics. And as you see, we can fit in our last level of Pierce Up here, and we will be Gucci. We have Ballistics. Now, I have seen people forego Ballistics and go for the Pierce, uh, for the uh, spread, uh, not spread up, but uh, the spare shot route. Now, with the spare shot route, I can probably do the spare now I can probably do the spare shot route by swapping out my talisman to a one of my spare shot talismans but I am fairly certain that I just do not have a spare shot talisman that will give me level two spare shot with a three slot I am fairly certain that I do not have have that now whatever you do uh now whatever you do choose they are both viable options you either want the spare shot for bonus dps you either want spare shot for just bonus dps so you don't have to reload but it doesn't really matter because you have so much ammunition in the clip with fast reload to the point where it just really doesn't matter but if you want to do that go right on ahead or you will uh, get level two ballistics and be in critical distance and just extend your critical distance. So you will uh, at least, you know, hit more often. And when your bullets are piercing through, they'll still be in critical distance. So they won't have any damage drop off. So 
I I like the ballistics route. It's comfortable. It's more comfortable for me, and it keeps me at a safe range, and I my bullets won't have any damage fall off. If you do like the other option with spare shot, then obviously try to tr try to find a at least a spare shot level one with a level three. Fatal uh, with a level three decoration slot, Fatal Tempest Talisman, which I do have, and then just swap out the Ballistics or the Precise Jewel and the Arzuros Greaves to a Thrift Jewel as you see fit. Now, with all that being said, moving on from essentially the best light bow gun build in the game, we are going to move on to our final light bow gun build for our raw light bow guns. And then in the next episode, we'll cover over all the elemental light bow guns. But here is our Sinister Shadow Bolt making a reappearance for another build. Like I just said, the Sinister Shadow Bolt will be our best. Will, without a doubt, be our best spread light bow gun. Now... What's weird about this is actually you don't need any reload speed. You don't need, uh, or I believe you need recoil down. Yes, you do need recoil down, recoil down, but you don't need any reload speed. Uh, you only really get reload speed due to the Rachna Mail S, and if you really, really don't want to build the Rachna Mail, or you don't have the materials to build the Rachna Mail, then have no fear. Just feel, just feel free to build uh, the Vike Mail because it will give you the same exact uh, slottage, so you can fit up, uh, fit up, so you can fit in a spread up crit boost in recoil down using the three, two, and one slots. Don't worry about the reload speed; it won't actually factor into anything in this build. And let's get back into the Shadow Bolt. I just wanted to let that be known. Anyways, as you see, we have attack is 207, ramp up uh, the rampage slots is attack boost, affinity is 0%, defense boot bonus is 0, obviously we have a 2 and a 1 slot, deviation is none from this build, recoil is low from this build, and reload is very fast from this build. The mods are a long barrel, cluster bomb type is arc shot, and special ammo is wyvern blast. So since we are using the spread, we are free to actually put on the long barrel on the Magnamalo's light bowgun, which in my opinion makes the light bowgun look a little bit more better. Our spread ammo threes are on low and on fastest. And we get five shots of them. We're using Izuchi... It Utsuchi's mask hidden or his hidden mask so we could get level two bear shots we also get a level one wirebug whisper obviously razor sharp is worthless so don't worry about it it's just kind of tacked on due to the armor we get a level one slot where we fit in a recoil down level we have the rachna mail which i just explained so moving on from there we have Val Strax Braces, where we have essentially level 3 weakness exploit with a level 1 tenderizer added into the 2 slot. We have the Rachna Coil, which gives us a spread and a uh, which gives us a level 1 spread up and two level 2 slots, which we effectively fit in level 2 crit boost using two crit uh, decorations, crit boost decorations. And then we have Hunter's Greaves. Ah, Hunter's Greaves. You never let me down. We get level 1 stun resistance, level 2 attack boost with a level 2 slot where we can fit in level 1 ballistics. Now, I do recommend, highly recommend you get level 2 ballistics. Why? It increases your spread range. And down to our Fatal Tempest Talisman, we have our level 2 attack boost, level 1 divine blessing. So we we can fit in our last level one spread up for level three spread up and one level one sniper jewel for steadiness though so we have no deviation and i will actually do a demonstration we already talked about some uh, ammos that this comes with you have slicing 
So you can ch cut tails. You have some sticky ammos. Uh, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't recommend using sticky ammo threes, but I mean you can use sticky ammo threes if you want to. This is how it's gonna look like. So I mean, it's use sticky ammo threes are usable. It's gonna be on average. Uh, you can also use sticky ammo twos and it's gonna just be like fast KOs and then from there You just swap over to spreads where you can basically just keep on shooting. That's essentially the strat with it You have cluster bombs for whatever reason if you want to use it you have slicing ammos You know trank ammos for capture So pretty good pretty good you only get 50%. Uh, I would like to also make a point. You only get 50% uh, affinity, which is actually fairly good or decent for spreads because that means most of your spread shots will actually crit. But I will highly recommend you pair yourself up with a power or a fighting cat so you can get that raising roar bonus so you can get your affinity up to 80% at least. So... That's basically the build. There's nothing uh, more to it other than that. So, fairly good build. The reason why we have Razor Sharp level 2 is because we couldn't actually fit... Uh, or not Razor Sharp level 2. The reason why we also have uh, level 2 spare shot is because we couldn't fit another level 2 decoration for maxed out spare shot. No matter how much I tr moved around everything and tried, I, it, was just no, uh, it was just no point or no use it was not working with and uh that is about it for our build there is also one more build that i don't even know where it's at oh there it is uh i didn't move this over but i would also welcome you to our rampage light bow gun build so i know you guys hey probably either really like rampages or you hate rampages because of how long they are or etc etc so if you really want a way to just brain dead fast track through uh some rampages i do suggest you pick up the teostris flame bolt and why do i suggest you pick up the teostris flame bolt is because this will actually do more than let's say the just getting a rampage light bow gun which there is a build that also can use the rampage light bow gun for rapid fire shrapnel but i don't really suggest it because you get more attack out of the teostris flame bolt so anyways regardless uh actually i mean with the Teostris Flame Bolt, you're either looking at more attack from the Teostris Flame Bolt or more affinity from the Rampage. The Rampage uh, Light Bow Gun. And so whatever option you want to use, feel free to use it. I'm actually going to test out both options, but... Since I didn't actually have enough materials to make a Rampage Light Bow Gun, I sadly have to make do with what I got and use the Teosha's Flame Bolt. So until I figure something out on, on that end, then I'll let you guys, I'll update you guys. But for our Rampage slots, we got Attack Boost 3. Our Deviation is none. Our Recoil is low and our Reload is fast. Our mods are a long barrel mod, cluster bomb type is arc shot, special ammo, wyvern blast, as you see, 217. Uh, we will, with uh, the other, now with the rampage light bow gun, you will be getting, you will be cutting yourself down to, I want to say maybe around 200, mainly due to. Uh, You'll be cutting yourself down to 200, mainly due to going to attack surge, but you'll get 20% affinity. And I don't think you'll have to cut down your attack any more than that. But I also don't know how much shrapnel ammo you'll be getting. And I don't know if you'll get it down to 
recoil like low recoil and fastest so i mean feel free to test around for that but um anyways moving on as you see we have the teosha's flame bolt we're using the rachna helm uh because it's going to give us a level one spread up and level one reload speed and it gives us level two slots where we fit in level two steadiness so we can have no devi deviation we have the rachna mail chest so we can fit in a level of crit boost or actually no level of weakness exploit and a recoil down and it comes with a level one spread up and reload speed then we have the Jiratotis Bam Braces, so we can fit in a level of Rapid Fire Up, level 1 Weakness Exploit, and level 1 Reload Speed. And then we have the Rachna Coil, so we can fit in level 2 Crit Boost, and it also gives us a level 1 Spread Up. So we have maxed out Spread Up, and with the Arzuros Greaves, S, we get maxed out crit boost we get maxed out crit boost we get level one recoil down and level up level one rapid fire up so we are working with level two, two rapid fire up right now and our spread up is actually at max so we come down here and we have a weakness exploit Level 1 with a level 1 Wirebug Whisper Talisman with a 3 slot and a 1 slot and we just put in a level uh, we just put in our last rapid fire up decoration in there and we also put in a flinch free decoration. Now I will say that I will say this weapon is also fairly good in rampages because as you see you have access to sticky level ones and sticky ammo twos and what you want to do with those is when you have those stun uh when you have those stun uh challenges you actually want to use this for the stun capabilities and with that being said i believe the teostra light bow gun is actually technically better than the rampage light bow gun but if you're going for pure shrapnel, may, uh, it's possible that the Rampage Light Bow Gun is better than the Teostra's Light Bow Gun if you're going just pure shrapnel ammo build. But this build is going to have a mix of shrapnel ammo 2s as our primary ammo source. And the reason why we're using shrapnel ammo 2s is because it's rapid fire. We can, it's rapid fire. We can walk and shoot with it. It's on low, it's on fastest. We have three shots with it. And uh the rat and the shrapnel ammo will actually cover a wide area while piercing through a lot of monsters and getting like a lot of ticks. It's really good for mowing down huge hordes in the rampage. And with sticky ammo ones aiding you in uh, basically stun stunning. So I do suggest you just get sticky ammo ones and sticky ammo twos, or just build into sticky ammo twos. Whatever you want to do, just be sure to get those stuns. Just be sure to get those stuns off. And then you also have slicing ammo twos, but you're not really going to use a lot of them. But hey, they're there. You're pretty much never going to run out of shrapnel ammo twos. But if, if for some weird reason you want to use slicing ammo in the rampages, go for it. Even though you're not going to be able to slice off any tails. So that is essentially the raw builds. With all that being said, let me know what you guys think. And for the final overview, what we get, we have rapid fire. Actually, wait a minute. Uh, before I oh, before I go, I'm actually going to put absorber. I'm actually going to put the last absorber. I don't know why I did it. Why? Because now we have sticky ammo ones and sticky ammo twos on low. I I don't know why I didn't do that. That that's on me. But with all that being said, that is our build. Those are the best raw light bow gun builds. I'm sorry that this took a lot. Uh, it took a lot of time. Obviously, it was a lot to cover. I will be getting into the elemental light bow gun builds in the next 
episode and with all that being said please leave a like comment subscribe check out my dual blades uh builds check out my anime re reviews which i'm reviewing one piece and doing a lot of fun power scaling and whatnot and also be sure to check me out on twitch.tv for slash anime alx check me out on twitch follow me it's a chill time we be streaming a lot of monster hunter so if you ever need any help with any hunts and whatnot i will be playing with you guys on there after uh, i get surgery done to my ear and with all that being said peace out all my fellow weebs and wee bets and see you in the next one